The motion seeking to remove the East African Legislative Assembly Speaker Margaret Ziwa from office has been pending since March. But when majority members suspended her on Wednesday, it took her by surprise. For the next 21 days, the House Committee on Legal, Rules and Privileges that started its work today in Nairobi will investigate allegations against her of misuse of office and unprofessionalism. Ziwa has not yet confirmed whether she will appear before the committee, but dismissed the decision to kick her out of office, saying, and I quote, I am not going to resign because they demand that I do. If the people of Uganda feel I should resign, their voice will come, and that voice, if it comes, I know how it shall come. Here in Kampala, members of parliament have reacted angrily to her suspension. They have fought her, they have uh, quarreled with her openly, they have abused her openly, they hold her in contempt to the extent that when the speaker enters the chambers, them, those people from NLM, they don't even stand up to honor the speaker. A total humiliation to the country of Uganda per se. It is real embarrassment on the East African region. It is the first of its kind. It has taken a precedence. It has never ever happened in the East African community. Butembala District Woman Member of Parliament, Mariam Nabukenya, threatened to move a motion to recall all Ugandan legislators in the East African Legislative Assembly. So we want to ask the minister and the prime minister now and now to tell us the position of government on this matter. Or else we are going to move a motion under Article 86 and recall all our members back here. So we can send their people who can represent our views. The news of Ziwa's oster, however, appears to have taken the Prime Minister and the leader of government business, Dr. Ruhakana Rugunde, by surprise. Actually, I thought the matter had cooled down and been sorted out until I saw in the media another uh, exacerbation of this subject. And uh, we are waiting for a report from the Minister for East African Affairs. His response only inflamed Tempa's father in an already heated parliament. A speaker has been suspended. There has been a coup in the parliament. And the coup is com committed by or carried out by our own. And we are not getting the time frame within which we shall get an answer to this problem. Madam Speaker, we need that from the Prime Minister, please. Before we members of parliament to come out, before all these things would happen, it would have been shame Bagaini to settle all these disputes with these fellow ministers over the four other regions, countries of East Africa. So, I'm sorry to state this, but I'm saying it painfully, that we have an incompetent minister sitting in the East African portfolio as a minister. The speaker, Rebecca Kadaga, however, reined in the members and deferred the matter until next week after careful analysis of the law. We are facing a, an unprecedented situation because in the history of the East African Legislative Assembly, this has never happened. So we don't have a precedent. So even for us to stampede and move a motion today, I think it's even not right. We need to give ourselves time uh, because the, our work was to elect. I don't know whether we have power to recall. MPs are also demanding that the Minister of East African Affairs, Shemba Gaine, explains to the House the developments in the Assembly. I and other colleagues are planning to come up with a censure petition against the Minister for East Africa because he has been at the forefront of all this shame bargaining. For now, Margaret Ziwa is fighting for her political life, vowing not to leave office and in her own words, like a chicken thief. The suspension of the ELA speaker Margaret Ziwa continues to be a controversial subject of debate across the region. Here at the Ugandan parliament, members are demanding that the Minister for East African Affairs comes on the floor to explain Ziwa's ordeal. But until next week, some members are already drafting a motion to recall all Ugandan MPs in the East African Legislative Assembly. Solomon Serwanja, NTV, parliament.